Hey y'all, what's good? I'm uh, I'm here in Binghamton, New York. Uh, I went to see an old friend of mine in a in a show, uh, The Fantastics, last night, and uh, he was excellent. The show was excellent. Tri Cities Opera, check him out if you're ever in Binghamton, and uh, just had a fantastic. I mean, I'm saying fantastic a lot because I saw the Fantastics. Um, where I uh, just had a fantastic meal at Manny's. They have some of the best donuts I've ever had. You gotta check them out. If you're in Binghamton, check out Manny's uh, uh, Donut and Diner, Donut Shop and Diner, I think they call it. Um, anyway, uh, on the way back home, I am going to stop at a couple of places to fish. We got a local pond that's not too far away. We're gonna check out in just a second, uh, went a line, and hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm not gonna say anything. We'll, we'll get out there and wet a line, okay? Yeah, that's all we're, no jinxes today. Nuh-uh, uh-uh. All right, you know what it is. I'll see you out in the water. Well, that's a good sign, there's water. Oh, wow, wow, wee, wow. Look at this pond. Oh, it's got ice on it. I'm a little afraid. I may have just come out here for nothing, but it's a beautiful place. It's good to know it. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting real swampy. Oh, it's a little drop off right at the edge, which I'm gonna try to hit. Oh, I hit ice. Tug, tug, tree. All right, that's already shallow. It's like freezing outside. Just had a 60 degree day yesterday in DC and now we're here. We have a, uh, a Guggen rattling Ned, which honestly, I feel like this little rattle in the top is weighing it down. So like instead of staying upright, it kind of tilts to the side almost every time. And this is not as effective for catching fish as, as this. It's because they see it in the, they think it's like a crawfish feeding on the bed. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's these uh, weedless things, uh, these weedless wires that are, that cost me bites the other day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Experimenting. Stay tuned. One, one, one last cast at this location. Perfect. Yeah, it's just snagging weeds every time. And I'm rolling down these woods that I don't know. Let's look a little deeper here. A little, a little deeper. Ah, oh, why is there no bridge? Can't get around to that side. That's where I really want to go. Carl's crankbait action here on the, the Goog and Go 2. How did that happen? The fork is going on. Oh, that's why we need to need to loosen this up a little bit. We need to fine tune it. Okay, ready for action. Nipping in the bud. We have a relaxing and outcast is everlasting. All right, there it is. There's a good cast. The day like today that I wish I had waders because it's not very deep and I just can't get it out to the shelf. Same street stand on. Let me see if I can get uh, the the uh, Ned rig out there a little bit more because I think this crankbait is a little small for this setup and it's just not getting launched. I thought this was three eighths, but it might be a quarter. I can't remember. Technically, it's supposed to be able to throw three-eighths, but it's just not bombing it like I want it to. 
I also could maybe experiment with getting 20 pound braid instead of 30 on here and that might make it cast further. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put you away for now. Can't catch a fish to save my life. If I catch the next fish on this cask, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it my wife. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Who can finesse light rod? Just bombing out the Ned rigs, eh? Fucking A. to the sun. I don't know, can you see that? Can you see that little, you see what I'm saying? It kind of like lops to the side. It goes right over to the side, which is no bueno. So you just kind of, I guess with this, you'd have to like move it a lot and just really work that rattle. But it's a little active for, for wintertime fish. Oh. Castle out here trying to catch some fish. Half the flipping lake is frozen over. That's not helping my cause. A little twitch, twitch. Let it sink, twitch, twitch. Let it sink, twitch. Let it sink, twitch, twitch. Let it sink. Dude, I'm about to inception these fish, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, lots of grass. The grass. Oh yeah, we got a we got a uh, a vegetative fish. Look at that! Best catch of the day, right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're out here. Hey, I'm not complaining really. It's it's February. It's like pre pre spawn. Uh, way pre spawn for up here in Nueva York. You know what? I think that's a wrap for uh, for this pond here because Lord knows I can't catch a fish in it. So I think I'm going to move on and uh, we'll see how Pennsylvania treats us. But no complaints, New York. I saw an absolutely fantastic show that happened to be the Fantastics, and um, had some good diner food. Overall, it's been a very worthwhile journey that's not quite over yet. We're not quite done with our northeastern road trip. All right, onwards, avanti. No littering. Yeah. Yeah, flipping plukes. Very bad, very bad whoever left this, huh? Don't do that. This is what I, this is what I don't like. All right, bye little pond. See you next time. Hopefully when there's not ice on you. See, so, asshole. Not much luck at the pond here. Not a flipping nibble. You know, ice on the water. What can you do, eh? It's a really bad Canadian accent. I hope, I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Along with me humming uh, Dungeon Crew to you. Dungeon Mob? Dungeon Mob. Dun, dun, dun. Down the same streets that I'm rolling. We're heading back down the trail to the car. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll see you in Pennsylvania. Check this band out, you fool. They're awesome. We perform with them a lot. Also check out our band, Grim Winter. <laughs> We're out here in Pennsylvania and switching up some tactics. I got a little got a little cream, creme, cream floating worm here. A little weight on it. Might Carolina rig it, I don't know, but it's on the finesse light spinning rod. And then I have my Guggen Scout. I have like four of these, so I really don't want to lose this one. 
Oh, wow. There it is. Say, so, asshole. Yeah, so we're out here. This is a lake. Yeah. Definitely not a pond. This might be my first lake I've fished. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not a problem today. I do not want to go into this water. It's pretty clear. So I don't know if this golden pink is going to be a little too flashy, but wow, what a nice lake. Look at this. Huh. We should have parked over there. That looks more juicy. But you know what? Let's just let's just get acquainted. It's a little little cast here. Because it is about five degrees warmer than it was in New York, or maybe ten. Because it was like 32 this morning in New York, and now it's I don't know, something like 40, 45. Okay, yeah, it's it's just, it's too shallow here. So we're gonna move on. A little point over there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance, how it juts out. That's gonna get me to some deeper water. So I'm gonna go fish that. Oh, the joys of bank fishing. Pretty woods. Yeah, not a lot of casting space, but you know we're we're gonna make this work. Ooh, there's a log down out here on the point now. The reason why it's important to get into deeper water is because during the winter time the bass go to where the water's warmer, which is actually not on the surface, like in summer. It is uh, very much about. I'm trying to find warmth and hunker down somewhere in a deep hole. Tug, tug. Look at that. Look at that little, little shimmer. Cool. So let's go try over here. Let's get it. All right. No backlashes and no lures lost this trip. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Even though I haven't been catching. Oh, got a little stickage. Yeah, it's still too shallow. Ugh. 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 Oh, treble hooks. All right, let's go find some deeper water. I think I'm gonna cut it. This is more castable, definitely, so that's good. We'll put this down. We're gonna throw that worm out. Give it a dangle. Give it a dangle. Here we go. So this is pretty basic knowledge, but I'm just gonna show you. I have another video about how to rig up, but this is a weedless Texas rig. Well, this is the this is the what makes it a Texas rig, but wigging something Texas style, or just rigging it weedless style, means having this little exposed barb right here, and this barb <clears throat> can be covered up by parts of the other worm, and uh, yeah, that makes it weedless. So there you go. Let's take another cast here. I'm gonna go more out to the into the lake. something like that to get me out in the water. I'm a bank fisherman. 
think life can't be having none of this easy access to water okay it's like two feet deep there one more one more I'm gonna bomb it but 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 a bomb that was more of a line drive but that's all right we'll take it moving on here we go Alrighty there, campers. One more little bomb with this worm. On this side, and then we'll go across that bridge. I think there's a waterfall over there. Check that out. Pass de Bouilles. Well, that did not work. Woo! Hey, look at that. Well, at least I know that it's, uh, it's weedlessness kind of held up, you know? All right, let's try a backhand cast. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Fish it nice and slow. Well, that was fun. Let's go to the next spot. Oh, is this some sort of dam or something? I don't know. I don't know. Dangle, dangle, dangle. You know, I can't quite read that. What does that say? Is that Mandarin? Nah, JK. That's a nice deep reservoir, though. Glad you can't get to it. <laughs> Danger. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a lot of vegetation. Oops. Lots of vegetation. You can see that. Okay, a lot of grass. Okay, is it saying no fishing from this bridge or does this count as a bridge? And it's kind of a wall, you know? Oh, no, no fiddle oh. Fiddlesticks! Yeah, how are they gonna tell me not to fish the juice? This is where it gets deep. This is what I've been looking for, but I can't fish here. Huh, fiddlesticks indeed. Wow. That's MDH. That's like people's property over there. It looks like I can't, I can't fish there. I cannot fish anywhere here where the juice is. But how have people caught fish over here then? I guess, unless the fish brain app is lying to me. Oh, that could be, that could be juice. A little bank seems a little steeper there maybe. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a heron flying off into the distance there. Wow, cool bird. Okay, so I will say that this part of the lake is uh, a little deeper, a little more accessible. The deep parts are more accessible from the bank. So, <clears throat> I think that we got some some birds on the pond, on the lake, pardon me. This is really wonderfully clear water. We do not get this in DC. <laughs> DC got that swamp sediment. It's a mighty bit swampy in my hometown. Hell. <sighs> okay. I, I say we have about an hour tops more, so I'm hoping Hoping to get some good casts in and uh, see what we can make of this. Sorry about the shaking. I'm going to get a GoPro soon. I need to get a deeper before that so I can find fish. Like, I feel like they would all, they would be like tucked away. Oh, there's the heron. Okay. Can you see him? Let's zoom in a little bit. There's that heron. Oh. 
that's a good sign. We'll fish around here, but I don't want to disturb this awesome bird. A little deeper, we might have a fighting chance here. Oh, that was, that was a little aggressive. Don't want to disturb the fishies. Oh, no, just kind of on the bottom. Let's cast and try to hit that little drop off point, which I think is over there. Um, the daylight is dwindling. The daylight dwindles. It dwindles. <laughs> Oh God, look at that. I mean, it just, it looks so cool. Can you, can you see that? Can you see it all? See, and it just stays up like that. Yeah, you know, that's what you want. Oh yeah. See, that's what that Ned Rig should have been doing. See, just like that. And it sticks up for him. All right, little twitches, little twitches this time. I'm gonna cast over here again. But I gotta bomb it. You ready for the bump? <laughs> you know, we, we, we like to have fun here. It is, it's a great time on the way you see the fishing channel. Oh man, you gotta tell me there's nothing stacked up in this vegetation here. Man, can't get no luck. I love when you rig something weedless, that's right. It feels like you're getting away with something, you know? It feels like you're just, just barely escaping the police. I, that looks so good. I mean, it looks good to me because it's highlighted. I mean, maybe I need to be using a more natural color in this clear lake, but I'm, I'm gonna stick with my pink because it's just fun. It's fun fishing. Fun to fish with bright colors. I mean, the water's not like clear, clear. It's, but it's pretty clear. More clear than DC, that's for sure. Yeah. Not even a cheeky little nibble. Come on, man. I know it's like 40 degrees out here, but you got to give me something like, like just a little just a little nibble. Just let me know there's fish in here, so I'll come back. I know there's fish in here, but uh, nothing's been caught recently. And I think there's like maybe three or four catches on this lake in wintertime. Like anytime from December through February. So we might be SOL. But I just wanted to try it. Wanted to get out here. Getting used to the new bait casting setup. And this, this setup I just love. It's like my little light wacky rig slash micro texas rig or mini texas rig uh set up and this shimano this 20 old sh year old shimano still casts like a freaking charm it's got that it's got that just enough finesse but just enough backbone this finesse light to to pull in like a, a three or four pounder i feel like five would be pushing it uh, that was more of a fly ball than a bomb, but we'll we'll take it. I mean, maybe I could get a bigger worm and a bigger weight, and it would go further. But you know, what? we're gonna save that for another day. Um, one more bomb. A little, just a little, a little lift. And then you have to sink and then lift, reel, sink, lift, reel, sink. Oh, it's 
beautiful out here though. Sometimes you just gotta look up and just appreciate the nature where you're at. There's ducks chilling in the center of the pond. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. If you lag, like, you know, if it's 40 degree weather, it's like, you can't go out in it. It's just simply not true. This is beautiful out here today. Just got my little sweatshirt on. I don't even have a big coat or anything. Light gloves. A little beanie, a teeny weeny. It's not a teeny weeny beanie, it's just a beanie, but yeah. I'd like to have that house up there. Wow, so cool. All right, time to give the jerk bait a try. All right. There's that Aaron again. Oh, that's right, it was like a memorial lake or like a military something or other. I got the little Reveille call. Is that live or are they phoning it in? What do you think? <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> oh, dude, I need to catch a fish. Oh, what am I doing out here? Little Yeet, Little Yeet. It's a rapper name, Little Yeet. So dumb. I was almost gonna throw on a silent crank, but I just thought it's too cold. Gotta go with the jerk bait. That was so bad. That was like my worst cast. Okay, that's perfect, here we go. think it just kind of suspends right there in the water. Yeah. Okay. The miracles of modern lure making. That's why this sport is fun. It's got to be the lures, man. Or is it the line, bro? Maybe it's the reel. <laughs> is it the line, the lures, the reel? Or what's between your ears that really makes a good fisherman? Thus endeth the lesson. Oh, do, do. Where are you, fishies? Where are you, fishies? Where are you, fishies? Where are the fishies presented to over Chopin's prelude. Oh, man, dude, I'm starting to feel like a Meeseeks that hasn't done his job in too long. It's getting weird. How many hours have I spent? fishing this winter and gotten like literally a nibble just a nibble oh man probably 40 <laughs> so, so i don't know how much of this i can show you guys because uh you, you're not gonna want to watch me not catch fish right uh, i have to think of some other ways to entertain you while i I go fishing and don't catch anything. I'm not like those other YouTubers, man. I'm, I'm raw, punk rock fishing. No guaranteed catches. Because life is gonna catch a fish. And it feels a little fishy, you know? My problem right now 
It's my lack of fishiness. Okay, getting a good walk in. I mean, you really at this temperature, you gotta get right in the strike zone, about a foot away. Yeah, I think I need a deeper sonar for this winter fishing. Get a nice big catfishing setup. Put that deeper on there. Get some 80 pound braid. Go, go, action braid, go. Yeah, I've really seen the appeal of using bigger lures, not just, I mean, they typically catch less fish than smaller lures, but, so, you know, you don't get the smaller ones. Shook luck. You know, I'm pretty happy with this reel. It doesn't cast quite as far as I thought it was going to, but I might just need heavier lures with it. Or a Corrado DC. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting ideas out here. Nothing like not catching fish to make you uh, hungry for more gear. All right, let's do one out to the side. I got mud on my boots. on these three eighth ounce jerk baits out there. I like smaller stuff typically, especially for the DC region. Yeah, maybe a swimming I, I need to get a little swimming Kai Tech action or something like it. Well I gotta get back home in DC but I missed the Super Bowl for y'all so <sighs> well it's cold I'm tired and I am uh, more well informed about what I need to catch fish in the winter time I feel like and what it's like fishing on a lake so not bad for a first well no it's pretty bad I didn't catch anything or even have a bite so um it to the sea, we to the two. Crick, crick action back there. Man, that's a cool spot. I gotta come back here. By Memorial Lake. Yeah, well, three hours later, hiking back to the car. There is a, there's parking a lot closer and I did not know that this time. So thanks for tuning in and I will see you next time.